What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Southside Skate Park YouTube channel where we review products before they come out, as they're coming out, and even sometimes after they've come out. Now it's been a little while and there's a new brand that's kind of an old brand that's basically back in the shop and it's really being well received. So I wanted to kind of review the shoes with you guys and show you the shoes. Um, it's definitely something you should see, enjoy, give a try. None other than iPath iPath is back. Um, basically, uh, we brought it in here at Southside Skate Park, and pretty immediately, it was just getting picked off online and in store. There was like a lot of skateboarders uh, here in Houston, Texas, that definitely were looking forward to getting themselves a pair of these cats. Uh, we have uh, three cats to show you guys. We have cats in brown, cats in tan, and the cat shoe in black. So I want to show you guys all three of those. Um, stoked. Uh, you know, you've got this uh, follow your path. You know, since our inception in 1999, iPath has been more than a footwear brand. We have uh, been a companion on the journey of those who seek adventure and embrace authenticity. And uh, there's a little more there. I mean, at the end, it's like your, event your adventure awaits iPath. So check it out. Let me bring that up for you. Bow. All right. Uh, you've got that OG sticker. This definitely brings back memories. Uh, says, uh, since 1999 here it comes man here comes this shoe like you either you know you either get it or you don't i'd say uh so let me just kind of pop these out for you guys piece by piece um the tan uh the tan was actually supposed to be in delivery too for some reason our delivery one and two delivered together that's all good uh we were happy to happy to get them in there's the tan and then here comes the brown. Boom, boom. All right. All right. So immediately, I mean, immediately, like just nostalgia, right? This is it. This is that shoe. Um, remember this thing right here? I definitely remember the embroidery on the heel. You know, Carl Watson was rocking these super hard, um, yeah, a lot of my friends were too, like a particular guy, his name's Flynn down in Galveston, Texas. Like when I think of Flynn, I still, I still see him in these shoes. That's how hard he ran the cats. Um, let's see, we get this, uh, they come packaged pretty nicely. I don't, I don't know if this is, this was how they used to be. Uh, myself, like, dude, I never owned these cats. I never owned them. Probably because my friend did. Um, but check it out. I'm going to bring it in and show you guys some details. The suede's do feel really nice on these cats. Got the heel. It has the original sole and grip. You know, no changes there. It has these little venting, kind of breathable holes here down on the uh, inside of the foot. This uh, nice kind of a rope lace. Um, the sock liner, it's just like a darker brown. Um, darker brown cotton, the insoles, you know, not, not a whole lot going on, you know. I was told a long time ago, like, that uh, shoe brands are not insole manufacturing brands, right? So you could always, I'm sure you could find yourself an insole to uh, fix that up. But just like the silhouette on foot um, looks sick. I mean, she looks good. So that's, that's the brown. They all come with the uh, iPath, kind of like a, like a rubber keychain, kind of making it a little nicer. Bring it in for more details for you. This is the Cats in Brown, and these are $99.94 at SouthsideSkateShop.com if you're looking for them. Pretty sick. I like this shoe. I mean, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm stoked these are back. I don't know why. It's just a kind of a feel-good story. You know, about a group of people who built up a brand and at some interval in the economy and skate economy, they had to kind of sort of turn it over to someone else for a moment. And um, they laid in wait and bided their time. And when the expiration of that licensing situation or whatever they did, whatever their agreements were, when they got to the end of that, they uh, just basically retook control of the brand and put it right back on the road. And I'm just psyched to see it get um, so well received within skateboarding. There's just a lot of people kind of looking for these and stuff. So definitely sick, 
So that's the tan. Go over here with those. Boom. And then here's the black. I've often kind of heard these sort of called like shoes for adults, like skate shoes for your more adult skate skateboarder. And in 1999, around the turn of the century, like that time, like there wasn't like a lot of skate shoes that were really being built for like your adult skateboarders. The understated sort of Etnies wraps had kind of ended and skate shoes were getting, getting bigger and puffier and more tech. And there wasn't anything necessarily wrong with that. Obviously, you know, something was driving that, but it was just, yeah, like these were just kind of took, had a more mature vibe to them. And that really resonated with skateboarding and skateboarders that were like 18 years and old, 18 years and older, I want to say. You know, it was just like a cleaner look on your foot. So those are the cats. Every, every one of these feels good. The toes look sick. They're all stitched right. Um, again, what's so cool about this, it's not, it's like supposedly it's the original group of individuals who started the brand, uh, overseeing the brand now. And I wanna say it's the same manufacturing uh, plant is also producing these shoes again. So these should be to spec exactly as they were when you bought them in the early 2000s and enjoyed them. So we felt like the cats and the grasshopper was the original, you know, the ones that were like iPath in our heads. Like when I think of iPath and I think about the clips and I think about who was on iPath and uh, the shoes they wore, um, you know, Kenny Reed, really what I keep seeing in my head are Nate Jones's tray flips. Okay, like Nate Jones, one of the most beautiful tray flips ever. Um, pretty easy to say that. Uh, and uh, yeah, we, we brought in the grasshopper. So this is the grasshopper. Um, there was a statement of something about like, it's a pretty timeless classic conceived and conceptualized and designed in 1998, which makes sense about a year before the brand's launch. And uh, then bang. So let me get this grasshopper out in the two colorways. So the black black was delivery one and the navy white was supposed to be delivery two but like i was telling you guys we uh ended up getting um you know our two deliveries together so uh but yeah let's see here man this is like a high top it's really you know it's a cup sole it's a uh, it's midsole and outsole are stitched to the upper um this uh this texture on the toe is pretty gnarly. Definitely seems like it would have like really good flick. I'm gonna bring it in so you can see the toe. Check that out. Again, we're kind of working with a new camera, so it's new to new to us. They have the iPath icon on the heel. We have iPath on the midsole near the heel. Um, the iPath icon there on the side. And uh, really what we would see a lot of back in the day, people would just pull these, pull these straps, dude. And these things would just be flying, flapping under their pants, right? Like, so the pants would just be sitting on it. This thing would be going nuts. Um, the footage just looks so good. Has the uh, kind of the breathable on the interior of the foot there. Um, definitely seems like it's gonna like lock you in nicely with its, uh, with just the way the heel is sh shaped, you know, how it's gonna wrap around your heel in foot. Um, the leather feels, it's like a pebbled leather, feels good, has that iPath flag on the tongue, comes with the, uh, you know, the little path keychain. This one right here is gonna be navy white. These are, what do these retail for? These are 109, they're 109.94. SouthsideSkateShop.com and just at your local if they got into some iPath. Um, it's a pretty crazy time in a sense to like bring back uh, any shoe brand. But like I said, things are a little bit different with iPath considering that it's a lot of the original people involved. And also like our team rider, Ben Rayborn, rides for these guys. And we want to back that. We want to support that. And uh, man, in the territory in this region, the rep is Dylan over at No Comply, one of the like, best guys in the region. Like definitely 
you know, when, when something just makes sense top to bottom and everyone involved is good people, like that's what you want to mess with. That's what you want to back. That's what you want on foot. Let's take a look at the OG black black. This is that Nate Jones tray flip the street gap. I mean, like, dude, like when you accelerate out of a trick, the trick, you just did it like really well, right? Like you go into the trick with one speed, you come out of the trick at a higher rate of speed, uh, whether it's a ledge, flat ground, whatever, it almost doesn't even sound like that's even possible, but that's kind of like what Nate was so good at. Um, yeah, Nate Jones just made this so famous in my eyes, you know? It's got the strap going down. Let's see if I get that strap to flap for you guys. Um, it's all, it's an all leather build. Leather feels pretty good. It's sort of a, a, a lightly pebbled leather. Has the, um, the eye path icon there on the strap there. We have it again on the side. We have a little lace loop there at the bottom that has it as well. We have it on those heels and then the tread, right? And this thing is just blacked out, black to the floor. It's very wearable. Um, it's a good shoe. Yeah, stoked for it. Um, and it's back. And you can get it at southsideskateshop.com. You can get it here at Southside Skate Park. Um, big shout out iPath. Um, congratulations to you guys on getting it going and making it happen. And uh, it's good to see it back in stores. And once again, like I said, when a brand kind of gets back going again and it's all the original people and then everybody involved is like a good person like this is something you want to support and something you want to rock so